Today we're taking a look at the ScanLogic Basic, the newest in a series of biometric fingerprint safe locks from SecureM Systems. The ScanLogic Basic uses a RF sensor in order to detect your fingerprint using radio frequency. The ScanLogic Basic comes with a default code of 123456. You can go ahead and enter that code. That'll be the default code. You can enter that code in order to open the lock and you'll see it opens. Now, we're going to do programming on this lock and I'll show you how that works, but we're gonna do it with the door open. It's always a good idea to do the programming with the door open. Refer to the programming guide for programming steps. So the first thing we're going to do is change the default code from 123456 to a number of your choosing. It has to be a six digit number. Here's how you do that. First enter six zeros. That puts the lock in change code mode. Now enter the existing code. Two, three, four, five, six, and it'll beep again. Now we enter our new code. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. It'll beep. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And it'll beep twice. It'll go beep for the last entry and then beep, beep. That means that code has been changed correctly. So now you can enter your code as six, five, four, three, two, one, and that lock will open. So that's the first step. Change the default manager code from one, two, three, four, five, six to any other six digit number. Now let's show you how you add fingerprints. So in order to add a fingerprint, here's what you do. You enter your code. In this case, it's six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you press the plus button to add till you get that beep. Now, go ahead and place your finger. It'll beep. Go ahead and place it again. Beep. Third time, beep. And fourth time, it'll go beep, beep. That means that it's enrolled your fingerprint. Now, when you go up to the safe, you can simply enter your code, as we saw, or you can place your finger. It'll open, and immediately, it allows you in. So that's how you enroll the first fingerprint. That fingerprint is associated with that manager code. The manager code can have up to five fingerprints associated with it. Now, in order to add additional fingerprints beyond five, you need to add other codes. So this lock is capable of having a manager code, a user one code, and a user two code. And all of those codes can have five fingerprints. So you have a total of 15 fingerprints available on this lock. Now, why do I say that the fingerprints are associated with a code? In order to meet UL's requirement for a safe lock, you must be able to operate the biometric safe lock in both fingerprint and code mode. So, enter a fingerprint, then enter a code. So we call that security level two. And we'll show you later in this video how you set security level two. Next, we're going to take a look at how you add an additional user. So let's call this user number one. All right, let's go ahead and add the first user, user number one. We do that using the administrator's fingerprint or code. Let's go ahead and do this one with the code. So six, five, four, three, two, one, and then press and hold the one. Hear that second set of beeps. Now it's saying, what code would you like for your second user? One, two, three, four, five, six, and repeat the code again for that user. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that code has now been saved. So now to test that code, I can enter that user code and the lock opens. So we now have a total of two codes installed, the manager code, which is 654321, and the user code or user one's code, which is 222222. So now that we have user one installed, we can go ahead and add fingerprints for user one using exactly the same process. We'll enter user one's code, 222222, and we'll press the plus button to add a fingerprint. So 222222, press the plus button, wait for the beep, now enroll another fingerprint for this particular user. Each time it beeps, I lift my finger until I get two beeps. There's the two beeps indicating that that fingerprint has now been accepted. So to test that finger, I walk up to it, I place my finger and I'm in. So that is how you enroll fingerprints for user number one. 
We've already showed you how to enroll fingerprints for the manager. We can add a third user, and here's how we do that. So, the manager enrolled user number one. The user one can enroll user number two. So here's how we do that. Enter the code for user one. Now press and hold the one button. We get that beep. Now enter the code for the second user. Let's say three, four, three, four, three, four. And repeat, three, four, three, four, three, four. That user has now been added. So to test that user, enter three, four, three, four, three, four, and that lock opens. All right, so now we have the manager code enrolled and a fingerprint for the manager code. We have the user one code enrolled and a fingerprint for user one code. We'll now go ahead and add a fingerprint for user two. And we do it in the same process. So here's how we do it. We first of all enter the code, three, four, three, four, three, four. Press and hold the plus button. There's that beep. Now we replace our fingerprint on the sensor and lift each time. Two, three, waiting for two beeps. There's the two beeps. That indicates that finger has now been registered. To test it, just place your fingerprint on the sensor and it's open. All right, so we have the manager code and the availability for up to five fingerprints for the manager code. We have user one code installed and he has availability for five fingerprints also. And we have user two installed and he has the availability for five fingerprints also. Anytime I want to open it, I simply place my finger. So I'll put my finger on here and it opens right away. What's very unique about this particular type of sensor that we're using is one, it's really accurate and it's really fast. And you don't have to place your finger in exactly the same position each time. This has been some of the problems with previous types of sensors. But for instance, I registered my finger like this, but I could place my finger like this if I want to. And it opens immediately. So any way you want to place it, I can place it this way. And it opens. It's not based on the orientation of the finger. It's just based on the RF, the radio frequency, reading the ridges of my fingerprint. And it stores that information in digital memory inside that lock. So that's the ScanLogic Basic, a very versatile, reliable, biometric fingerprint safe lock from SecureM Systems.